This is a short movie showing Image Pro Premiere version 9 and how to create a spatial calibration. Starting off, I'm going to select an image of a stage micrometer. There are two ways to create a special, spatial calibration in an Image Pro Premiere. The first method is the auto calibration wizard. So we're going to select the capture tab, go to the calibration group, and select the auto calibrate wizard. Simply enter the name of your calibration. I'm going to call it 10x. Choose the correct units. In this case, it's micrometers. And next, I need to tell it the distance between the lines, between either these ticks or hash marks. In this case, this is 20 microns. And now I need to make a choice. Do I want this to be a system calibration or a reference calibration? The difference is a system calibration, if I create that, is that calibration that I'm going to create will automatically be used to calibrate images when I capture images through a camera controlled by Image Pro Premiere. In this case, I'm just going to simply create a reference calibration. So this is going to be my list of calibrations I create. For example, if I have five microscope objectives on my microscope, I would like to create a calibration for each objective. So and that's what I'm going to do right now. These, this reference list of calibrations can be later used to link to a camera and an objective so you always apply the correct spatial calibration when the image is acquired. That will be shown in a separate video. Right now, I'm going to create my reference calibration. I'm going to press the OK button. You'll automatically find the hash marks. And you'll notice that we automatically put up this, um, a marker bar. In this case, this is 200 microns, and then you'll notice going from these edges, that is the correct size. This is just a nice visual visualization of showing you that the correct calibration has been applied. You'll also notice that in the calibration group, it automatically makes that the current calibration. To turn the marker bar on and off, you can simply toggle it on and off. You also have control of the marker bar by using marker options. Here where this little gear image is, I can select marker options. And you have a number of choices and options on where to place it, what colors. You can even have the text go away if you'd like, or if you're always putting a standard marker bar on the image, you can remove the text. Again, you can also adjust the sizes. Right now, I'm just going to set that back to its original and close that. I'm going to turn my marker bar off for a minute, and I'm going to get rid of this annotation to show you how to create another spatial calibration using the other method. In this case, I'm just going to go to the Select tab and delete my annotation. Going back to the Capture tab, the second method is to draw a line from one point to another and tell the program what that distance is, and that will create the calibration determining pixels per micron in this case. So let me do that. Oops. Or I select that. There's a tooltip there explaining. So I'm just going to draw. Go straight across. I can hold the shift key to fix it horizontally. Going from leading edge to leading edge. And now I need to give a name to this. I'm just going to call this 10x. Just going to give it an A designation because I'm creating test calibrations right now. Give it the number of units. Tell it what this distance is. In this case, this is 880 microns. Again, I'm going to create a reference calibration. By pressing OK, it will automatically create that calibration. You'll notice two things. The calibration, by default, will show up down here for whatever the current calibration is on an image, in this case, the 10XA. And here in the dropdown, you'll see that's the calibration that's been applied. And here's my list of calibrations that I've created so far. Finally, how this is used is if you open up images and they're not calibrated, you can choose to select the right calibration and it'll automatically apply that calibration to the image. If you want that calibration to automatically apply to that image, so if you close the image and open it up again, simply resave the image and that will save the calibration with the image metadata. For more information, please contact your dealer or local sales office. Thank you.